Halo. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. Hey what's up Halo fans, welcome back to another special Halo video. Now in today's video I want to talk about the Halo franchise. Now I've been a Halo fan since 2001 when Halo C was released on the original Xbox. Back when Halo was in its golden age when Halo 2 and Halo 3 were dominating the FPS genre next to games like Half-Life 2, people were so hyped up for these games at launch it was unlike anything before. But a decade later after Halo Reach, you know, the Halo franchise you know, was declining due to 343 taking over and calling the shots. I mean, some people say the problem started with Halo Reach due to armor abilities you know, and Bloom being introduced in the game. But looking at 343 Halo games on how they've handled the Halo franchise, those games were pretty, pretty severe in comparison to Halo Reach, which a lot of people have been criticizing and being absolutely negative for years. Especially Halo 4's multiplayer, it wasn't just it wasn't Halo anymore, it wasn't the same anymore, like the fans were giving a lot of backlash at 343 and the Halo community was decreasing whenever 343 pushed out a new Halo game, you know, people just don't want to play anymore and it was heartbreaking to see that. However, 343 wanted to make up for it after Halo 4's disaster and that was the Halo Master Chief Collection. In, in case you guys don't remember, in 2014 at E3 in June, 343 announced that all Halo games including Halo 3 Anniversary, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3 and Halo 4 will be coming to Xbox One, remastered in 1080p and 60fps. Back then I never had an Xbox One but I was still you know, eagerly to see Halo slowly making a comeback and I remembered how many people were so, so hyped up for Halo 2 Anniversary. When the game launched in November 2014, it was totally unexpected. The game was broken and it was horribly buggy like you literally could not play it and you know, like I said, I never had an Xbox One at the time, but from what I've seen, the Halo videos on YouTube where people actually shown proof that the game was broken and even on the Halo forums, people were complaining. The entire Halo community were literally frustrated at 343. Like, when are you going to fix your game? Where the heck are the updates? It, it was such a huge nightmare for 343 and the community. And the only chance they probably had was Halo 5 Guardians. And the marketing for this game was pretty great but when the game launched, my gosh, it went bad to worse. The campaign was a lie. It was nothing like how it, the way it was marketed and it was missing a lot of content at launch like forge mode and game types like infection and those came in a very very long time. It was basically too late. The, the Halo 5's population died out pretty quickly. Though you could say Halo 5's multiplayer did a much better job than Halo 4's multiplayer but the marketing for Halo 5's campaign was a huge like it gave the game a bad reputation and you know there was no chance for 343 you know to, you know to make a comeback and the MCC you know was still broken that year however 343 turned around and they stated that they would go back and fix the Halo MCC so every update they pushed out there was some improvements it was basically baby steps the game wasn't too perfect yet but it was still something so after nowhere 343 announced that they will be bringing in Halo 3 ODST and it will be free for Xbox users who brought the game in November 2014 or if you didn't you just gotta pay five dollars which is very cheap and this was a smart move by 343 and this was basically the right path 343 were taking and giving us you know uh, giving us something for return. Over the years uh, Halo MCC has gotten better every update they pushed out it was finally playable you could find games quicker and it wasn't even that buggy how it used to be but the Halo community wasn't there anymore there was no way to bring back the players. But then there was this one ultimate chance, one final effort for 343 to bring back the glory days of Halo and that was the Halo Master Chief Collection on the PC. In March 2019, 343 announced that the Halo Master Chief Collection will be coming to PC and on Steam and my god, when I found out this was happening, this is how the Halo community reacted. The video here I'm about to show you is where a lot of Halo fans came together in a Discord group voice chat and reacted towards the Halo MCC PC announcement trailer. This video does not belong to me, just so you know, so please watch this.
And from that moment, that part, that's when I knew Halo would make a huge comeback. It's to bring the Halo franchise on Steam. It was the only way for Halo to be top again. Not only the fact that the Halo Master Chief Collection was coming to PC and on Steam, it was also that Halo Reach is making a return to Xbox One and coming to PC and running in 4K and 60fps. The Halo community have been asking for this for years and it finally happened. Wish granted. But a lot of us, people were so cautious about Halo MCC launching on PC because everyone remembered the 2014 launch, right? However, 343 had this new feature called the Halo Insider program. It's where you get to join in flight tests and test the game before official release. And this helped a lot. It's a brilliant idea from 343. So Halo Reach had flight tests going and people got into the flight tests and they were play testing and trying to find many bugs as much as possible, you know, just to make sure the game launches perfectly. So it's been 8 months since the PC announcement and finally, 343 announced the release date for Halo Reach which will be released on December 3rd. When Halo Reach launched in December, all I can say to you guys, Halo has entered to its new golden age. Yep, Halo is back, better than ever before, the game blew up, around 100k players people were playing Halo Reach at launch and it was the most streamed game on Twitch too and it sold 2 million copies for a game that's almost 10 years old uh, it's amazing it was just like the glory days of halo and not only that thief with three given us new forge items which bungie didn't even include it back in the day it's something that fans have been dreaming for almost a decade now and now it's a reality and the modding in halo reach is so satisfying it blows my mind how many people already unlocked forge when it's when it wasn't out on pc yet and already modding the game this is this is how exactly how mcc in 2014 should have been like we no longer have to see Halo surviving anymore, we will see Halo living now. Since it's on PC and on Xbox One together, and that's the beauty of it. Though I do admit the population for this game did drop quite a lot on the PC, but the game still has a strong population currently. It's around 30k, 40k. Considering this game is almost a decade old, which is incredible. And let's not forget, Halo Reach wasn't the most loved Halo game compared to Halo C, Halo 2 and Halo 3. So once those games come to Steam, you know, on PC, it's going to be huge. I'm utterly confident that those games will do fantastic at launch on Steam. You know, people will be playing these Halo games until Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite could be the next Halo game that we've been wanting for for a very long time. I mean, I'm super pumped. Uh, Halo 3's current form has been great. They have been listening to the Halo community and they're actually doing the things that we've been, you know, we've been asking for. So who knows how... Halo Infinite will turn out, so we'll see. But there are a few issues that Halo Reach has on PC currently, which a lot of people have been complaining about, like the audio is not syncing in, and then you have overpowered aim assist on controllers, especially this. But for me personally, I haven't really had a problem with aim assist. I guess you could say I'm the very lucky one, but 343 did mention on Halo Waypoint about the aim assist and many other issues, which is great. So they're looking to, you know, fixing those and balancing these issues and we get to see Halo C Anniversary and Halo 2 Anniversary on PC for the first time and it looks epic. And Halo C Anniversary will have its uh, flight test going uh, in January which is awesome. Alright guys I think I said enough uh, in today's video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please do hit that like button and subscribe for more Halo content. Leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.